There is an electric car that charges in four minutes. Well, 10 to 80% battery charge in four minutes. This sounds crazy, but honestly, guys, this is going to be pretty common in five years from now. Hello, and welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. There is a car. It is called the Neobolt EV. It charges to 80% in, well, four minutes and 30 seconds. Now, it doesn't have a huge range because, well, it's not intended for that. It's got 155 miles of range because it's actually an electric sports car. It has a 35 kilowatt hour battery and that helps to keep the weight really, really low. Now, Neobolt sports car charges well faster than any other car in the world currently. In terms of actual charging speed though, its charging speed is nowhere near as fast as some EVs you can buy, which primarily, well, pretty much they're all made in China. There's quite a number of EVs, particularly the Zika 009, and other EVs you can buy that charge at 550 kilowatt charging speeds. 550 kilowatt. The Zika 007 also does that as well. Plus, there is a new version of the Zika 001. Yeah, you can see why Zika is the fastest growing car brand. I keep going on about them, but it's true. 550 kilowatt charging speed. Imagine how fast your EV could charge if you had a charger and your EV could charge that fast. It'd be around 10 minutes for most EVs with you know, 300 plus miles of range. That said, uh, this new EV will charge at twice the speed of most of the fastest charging vehicles today, said the company. And that is because it has uh, a constant, the ability to charge at a constant current of 500 amps. This uh, one caveat here, of course, it is a small battery pack, but still it's a pretty big battery in the context of the overall size. It's a 35 kilowatt hour battery. To give you some kind of an idea on how big that battery pack is, about half the size of a battery in a Tesla Model Y. Anyhow, that said, the, the charging speed is still incredible, right? Now, Neobolt actually believe that their batteries, which use next generation patented carbon and metal oxide anodes, um, have an innovative low impedance cell design and integrated power electronics and software controls, which basically they're saying, they have advanced battery technology that, have, that allows their battery to charge at pretty impressive speeds. Well, not pretty impressive, very impressive. They claim to have solved problems related to battery degradation. They say that their 24.5 amp hour cells have already successfully completed over 4,000 full DOD or depth of discharge fast charge cycles, according to over 600,000 miles in the battery pack, and they'll still have more than 80% capacity. Simply put, they're saying, the company is saying you can drive 600,000 miles in their electric sports car, though 1 million kilometers, the battery pack will still have more than 80% capacity. And it's based on their own testing. Uh, that's amazing. So how fast do these batteries actually charge? Well, technically, the charging speed is not that impressive. It's 350 kilowatt. But most cars that say they charge at 350 kilowatt don't charge at 350 kilowatt, sadly. Most of them might get to 250, 260, maybe, maybe 280 on a really, really good day. But here's the thing. They only hit that as a, as a peak. So that's a complete peak. And then as soon as they hit that number, they usually come back down. However, they're basically saying that they can hit a 350 kilowatt peak and hold that peak for a fairly long period of time. Then if you charge them at that kind of speed regularly, they're saying it doesn't matter. You can still get well over a million kilometers of driving with a battery pack that's, well, still got 80% of its original capacity. And that, guys, that's like, that truly is game changing. I mean, I think the entire EV industry will, will hit these sort of numbers in five to 10 years for, you know, most cars that we buy. So that's what we've got to look forward to. This is also a very light car. It's honestly one of the most impressive sports cars I've seen in years. It weighs 2,750 pounds. That's 1,250 kilogram. It was actually designed and engineered with Callum so that low volume production would be possible. When will these cars come out? Well, apparently um, the company will be, be producing batteries this year, or they say within 12 months for this vehicle. 
and they're hoping to actually bring this car to market next year. I'm personally a, a big fan of this thing. I, I think, I think it looks good. The performance is staggering. The weight is really good. Do you really need more range than this in an electric sports car if it can charge at these speeds? Probably not. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.